Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this short video, I just want to talk about some of the experiments that I keep doing, especially when it comes to selections, because I'm always looking at methods by which you can make accurate selections without doing too much work. And one of the things that I keep often comparing is the results that you get between two of the AI selection methods, which is one is you go to the select menu and you use this option, the subject option, which tries to see what is in focus and gives you a selection. But another very similar one-click method is to use the object selection tool here. And here in this case, also, once you click on it, you can see that it's kind of showing me the outline and it's gonna try its best to uh, you know, determine what the subject is and make a selection. So which one of these is better? So I have found the object selection tool to be better. And let me just kind of with, you know, from this video, let me just give you a demonstration of that. So let me open this in a new tab also so that we'll be able to compare this. So let me just duplicate this and I'm just gonna open this on a new tab. So we've got both the images here. Let's use the first method on this one. So we're gonna go to select. We will hit select subject. And let's try to see the kind of results that it gives us. So you can see that we've been able to get this result, but you can straight away see that there are some gaps here. Let's quickly open up a solid color adjustment here. And we'll actually just have to invert that mask. I forgot to do that, but no problem. And let's just invert this so that this comes on the background. And you can see, right, we, can, we don't even have to zoom in. You can see it's missed out a lot, but just see what happens when I use the object selection method. So here, I just click on this and it's gonna make a selection. So you can see, right, already you can see just by the marching ants, the selection just looks more uh, precise, but let's just verify this. So let me just uh, inverse this selection first this time. Okay, then let's open the solid color adjustment and let's change the color to something similar. And you can see, right, there's a world of difference between uh, both these things. So let me just zoom in here and you can see, right, so in these complex parts, yes, just some of it, it has missed, which is, which will be very easy to uh, correct using the select and mask uh, interface. And if you want to know how to use that also, I've actually shown this very image in that tutorial. Uh, the link is, uh, you know, right on top, so you can click and watch that video also. But right now, if you go back to the first method and we zoom in, you can see, right, this is not good at all. So the object selection method, in my opinion, works much better. There's another thing that a lot of people claim that you can do in order to improve your selection, but it's again not been my experience that it works, which is to change the way that these tools, uh, the AI model on which these tools work. So for instance, when we use the object selection tool, you actually get in the properties here, you get whether you want it to be device processed or cloud processed. This means that if it's device processed, it is still AI, but it's local AI, like on the pre-trained pre uh, AI model, basically, you know, through your computer hardware. But if you select the cloud version, it actually communicates to the Adobe server. You will need to have the internet. And oftentimes it is capable, it should be giving better results, but I have not really seen too much of a difference, to be frank, okay? Uh, in my opinion, sometimes it just ends up selecting more than what you want, okay? Uh, so this is available for this, but it's also available for this. Even though we don't see that option here, you can actually change this the default by which the selection methods work by going to edit, preferences, uh, then go to image processing. And for all the selection tools, you can actually change the default. The default is device, so the local AI, but you can actually change it to cloud once you hit okay. But in my opinion, sometimes when I use select subject, like from the menu with cloud, it actually takes way more than just the subject. So it can be important in scenarios where you're facing the problem on device when it's not selecting the entire subject or all the parts of the subject, then cloud definitely works better. But in these cases, like where our problem was not selecting the extra parts, our problem was that it was not able to, uh, you know, select the refined parts basically, right? In that case, it makes the problem worse. So these are very new tools. Nobody exactly knows what works or what doesn't work. You really have to experiment. But right now for me, the object selection tool, even on device, it just works way, way better than going from the menu and selecting subject. So yeah, just a short video on that. And anytime I feel I need to communicate something to you regarding any of the tools, I will do that via the video. So don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.